Hello, Mr. Harry, Mr. Ryan, right? Mm. Okay, so look at these uh, four examples. We have uh, numbers, a positive integer on the left, a positive integer. And we want to find out the smallest number, but the return should be a string. That's why we call it. 3 times 5 times 7. Yeah, and the product of the digits is this number. So, for example, 105, the smallest number, the product of the, all the digits is 105. 3 times 5 times 7. Obviously, there are other examples like 537, right? You can rearrange this, but this is the smallest. 7, obviously 7. 44, yeah, we can't find such number. The product of its digits is equal to minus 1. 12, 26. Obviously, there are other uh, possible answers, which is 62 or 223, right? Or 322, right? Etc. 26 four, is the smallest. 44 can you do 411? 4 times 11? No, because 4, 1, 1, right? Is four times one times one is four. You can't find a number. The product of each digit is this number. is forty four. Okay, that's why we return minus one. Okay, so let me give you an example like eighteen. What's the smallest number? The product of the digits is eighteen. Is it twenty nine? Well done, twenty nine. Yes. Okay. How about sixty four? Is it eighty eight? Eighty eight. Yeah, 88 is possible. Do we have other number which is smallest? If you say that, it's probably yes. I don't know. Maybe 88 is the correct answer. I think it is. I thought when we have a second link of our three digits. That's right. Okay, very good. That's very good thinking. Okay, you think about others will be three digits. Yeah, that's very important in designing the algorithm. Okay, so we want to look for the minimum digit. Minimum digit is better. So. The minimum, we want to achieve the minimum, the minimum digit, so we can go for greedy approach, am I right? So in order to go for a greedy approach, we need to try, okay, we need to try smaller digits first or the bigger digits. So, um, you find, like, the way I find it is just like finding first two numbers because it that's what we know. Well, if it's a prime number, then yes. Mm. Yeah, so for example, 18. Mm -hmm. 18, two, I want to find two digits first and I go with the smallest one. I know it could be 1 and 18, but the other multiple which pairs up with it has to be also one digit. Good point. Okay, so you say let's focus on the two digits and let, let, let's try the smallest digit on the left first, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good. And how about if we can't find anything in this two digits, we try three digits? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then if three digits we can't find, we try four digits? Yeah. And when to stop? That's the thing. When to stop? Why, why this is minus one? Because I'm just saying if you look at its multiples. Yeah. I'm just saying, looking at it multiples, so those multiples is four, no, it's like one, two, four. Yes, multiples. One, two, four, eleven, twenty-two. You're talking about this one, right? Yes. And forty-four. Oh, you mean the factors, yeah? Factors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about eleven, twenty-two, okay? And then? And forty-four. And we look at the, obviously eleven and twenty-two and forty-four. Can that be... That's right, yeah, because it's more than one digit. We, we are only looking for the single digit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's okay. It's one, two, four. Okay. And even if you multiply all of them, you still can't get 44. But I can use these numbers multiple times. I don't need to use once. I could say, okay, two, 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 four, something like that. It could be multiple. The one is useless. But one is easily, that's right, yes, okay, yeah, good one, point. Yeah, one is basically useless, because yes. it just makes, it doesn't matter, because it just still makes it the same number. Yeah, and then you put in the extra one, doesn't, uh, it just doesn't make it a number bigger, right? So we can just entirely get rid of one, That that's very good, yes. Okay, so yeah. two, four, okay, two, four. You, if you think about you it, you want to make it, if you think about it, two and four and forty-four, I think... You have to use it multiple times, mm -hmm. but, make, but you can't get 11, 22, or 44 because they all 11 that's a prime number, so 
so you yeah. can't get 11. And Trinity 2, death 2 and 11, but you still can't get 11. Yeah, but you but you still only need to use the one digit ones. You don't even need to kill the two digit ones. As even if it isn't a prime number, the factors will be the one digit ones. And okay, so uh, that's right. Yeah, look, we have 2 and 4, right? So we want to make it 44. We can just divide 2 and 4 until we can't divide it, right? 44, then divided by 2. No, then 32 like, divided by 2, 11. Yeah, okay, yeah, we can't get any more yeah, solder. Yeah, yeah, you only can start at 11. Yeah, and then if we use the 4 as well, 44 divided by 4, 11, and we can't go any further, right? So as long as we're not reaching, we're not bringing down the, we, we're not reducing the number to 1, we can't make it, am I right? Okay, very yeah, close, no, yes. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Okay, so what's the strategy? That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm ignore saying. one, ignore two digit numbers. Okay, so how many numbers? Ignore one, yes, for sure. Then how many other numbers? One single digit. The two digits, the ones which are not one digit. Okay, so how many numbers we need to check if it's divisible by the number? Divisible. Is, is, you need to check like eight. Up to nine, right? Yeah. Just this number, right? Or we don't need to check one, so two to nine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So now, for example, like one o five. How do we know it's three five seven? Because it's not divisible by two. Three is divisible by three because one plus five yeah. equals six, and and six is divisible by three. And so you put three down, and then three one hundred five divided by three is twenty five, and. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay. and then 35, if you look at 35, it's not divisible by 2, 3, 4, and the minimum is 5. So you put it down and 7, you just put 7 down. Okay, so you're trying from left to right. How about 12? How do you try? So if you try from left to the right, you will get 2, 2, 3, am I right? But the answer, the ultimate answer is 26. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, 3, 5, and 7 are prime numbers. Six is not prime number. That, that's the thing. I know. No, I know. I, um, I didn't say I was, I was going to pick six. Okay, but for 12, can you work it out the process? Yeah, I know. So, so, so for 12, yeah. you move two. Okay. You there and then you get six. Okay. Okay, and then... See, you have to do it like one number. Three, five, seven are prime numbers. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You're not getting it. Yes, I know, I know. It's a uh, prime numbers, yes. Okay, so I'm trying to understand, I'm trying to find an example that, uh, that will break your approach from left to the right. Yeah, yeah, no, it's... Okay, so you were saying, I'm okay, so... I'm honestly not surprised. Let's say 24. That's 12 with double. 24, yeah. I mean 24. So, how do you pick? You pick two? No, see, so... 24? Yeah. yeah. I think you're really willing for me to choose for Okay, you can stop on here. 46. Why are you not pick 2? Because I see 2, 3, 4, 6. And... Okay. Uh, 12, 24, okay. Well, we don't need to consider those not two numbers. Oh, 38. 38. Yeah, I forgot 8. I yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, the answer is 38, right? Yes. Okay, the answer is 38. So, you pick three. No, because look, yeah. you, you're not understanding my approach. I'm saying that if you have two digits, so, but two, it'll be two and twelve, but twelve isn't a... Ah, okay, so... Twelve is two digits, so I don't use two. I see, so and you, you find go, out... And then you go to three, and then but three can pair out with eight. And, uh, and eight is one digit, so you can do three and eight. Okay, so your first approach is that you find all the factors. Yeah, the one that you want, the not one. Okay, you. I thought you understand me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but you didn't. You didn't. I know. I understand now. So yeah, okay, I'm trying to find the example you that said, you said you did, but okay. you didn't. Okay, okay. One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty. Okay, let me find your uh, factors. All right, two, three, four, five, six. 8, 10, eight. and we don't need to consider anything bigger than 10, right? So just these 
These factors smaller than 10. Okay, so what's the answer according to your approach? So, three, um, eight, so you said 8 times 15. So I'm thinking of putting like 12 and times 10, but that doesn't work. It's not, That's right, yes. It's, not, it's too big. This is a good exercise thinking, okay? No, but you just... Okay, now I understand your approach. Your approach is to find all the factors. Yes, yes, but you said you understand. Don't, okay, don't, now I understand. Don't. Okay, okay, now yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so yeah, you always like that. Okay, so how can we proceed so, with this? So, so this example will make make your solution harder, right? Um, I okay. I can see what how this works because it's just two digits and it's easy. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can see. I'm, I'm just slow thinking. That's fine. You can give up and I can give you a hint. No. It's actually quite close. Don't no, comment it. Okay. <laughs> Give me a hint. No, I mean, you two can fine. work as a team, right? No, no, it's fine. I don't want to work as a team. Fine. Give me a hint. Or throw a sock at you. <laughs> I got one, but I don't know if it's a small one. 358. Yeah, I think this is the smallest. So obviously, you can't be two digits. Obviously, what do you mean obviously? Okay, I'm too dumb to figure out. So we have a largest number, largest one digit number is 8. Yes. And and 8 is with 15, which is not a one digit number. So we start off with 2, and then obviously 222 is not, and, and even if I try 288, which is, which is 128, but you can't even get 120 because if you look at it, you need 2 times 60 and you can't make 60 with a rest mm. with only like 2 more numbers so you skip 2 and then you go to 3 and then it's 40, you start with a... Uh, you skip 4, no, you can't go 3 with 4 as it will make another... it will make 4 digits and 5 5 and 8, I just know 5 and 8 is 15. So you're trying, you just keep, keep trying. It's 2, I start from 2 and 3, and then 4 and then 5 and then But why do you pick A here? If you see for 3 digits, yeah. the maximum with 2 is 288, okay. which is 128. Aha, uh -huh. okay, and then when you try When you say aha, uh -huh, you don't understand. <laughs> okay, so let me describe your approach. Why, why okay. Why? Extra five minutes for doing a good job today. Yeah? Mm. Okay? But we don't get to use it today. You can use it. Today is Friday. It's weekend. It's not weekend. It's weekend. I say so. Okay. Okay. Three day weekend. Yes, three day weekend. How is that? How is that sound? Happy? Mm. So can you summarize your approach? Because, you know, the algorithm, you can't just say, okay, try, try, try. So I give you a number. I give you numbers. For example, like 63. Can you tell me the step? What's the first step? What's the second step? What's the third step? Because for computers, you need the concrete step, step by step. Okay, for example, like 63. I can say 3 and 7 and 9. Okay, and then 21, right? Okay, so let's say just these four. 79. So 3. 3 doesn't work. The thing is, why is it two digits? You assume, first of all, you assume it's two digits. So you say three, it pairs up with 21, it doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. I move on to seven. So seven pairs up with nine, perfect. If two digits doesn't work, then we move to three digits, right? Three digits, and we try the first one, the smallest, and then we try to fill the second one, try to do the third one. And you find it, that's the smallest, great. If impossible to do the three digit, we do the four digit, all right? You try, first you try two digit, try the smallest number, the leftmost number, try to complete, right? You do the search, two digit. This I will try from the smallest to the biggest. And then once I fill this digit, I try the next digit. If we can't find any digit, we try three digit. And then do the, this digit first, this digit, and this digit. And if we can't find any solution for three digits, we try the four digits. Am I right? Until it reaches the, you know, until all the possibilities. Obviously, we need to get to this n digit, n digit, okay, n digit. And then if we can't find any solution here, then minus one. 
So this is kind of like deficit search. It's like a deficit search. You try the best normal digit, try to fill the next, fill the next until we find a solution. Or we don't find a solution, we run down the digits. A thousand, okay? You can't get a thousand to two digits. So your approach is, okay, so a thousand, let's say, two, we only consider the factors up to 10, right? Two, four, eight, that's it, right? Okay, all right? Five. Okay, and five, uh, yeah. Okay, this is four. So how do we get, get to a thousand? So two digit, obviously we can't, right? Because A, 88 is 64, mm. no. Okay, so three digit, three digit. Can we get to three digit? Obviously we can speed up the process by just checking the largest, which is A, A, A. 64 times A. Is this bigger than a, a thousand? No, right? So four, three digits, we don't even need to consider. Four digit. Yeah? Okay, four digit. Then we try the first number two, right? Second number two, third number two, fourth number two. Okay, obviously this is not a thousand. Then we replace this number with four. We replace this number with uh, five. We replace this number, try, okay? Once we write out this, then we change this to the next number. Okay, and we keep going this way. Okay, and if we don't find any solution, we keep uh, writing the digit until, until two times two times two, how many twos you times up uh, more than a thousand? Two to the power of uh, 10, right? So the possibilities could be 10 buckets, 10 buckets, and you follow this process, right? I think this is a good approach. You are working out this way. Let's assume two digits uh, is this. Then we try to put a digit from left to the right. If we don't find any solution, we try three digit. If we don't find a solution, we try four digits. And here we have this 10 bucket. Why 10 bucket? Because if the smallest two, I put two in 10 times, then this number will be bigger than a thousand. So there's no need to continue with 11 bucket, 12 bucket, right? Okay. There's a quicker way of doing that. We'll try the opposite. Instead of trying from left to the right, we'll try the right to the left. Okay. Why this approach works? For example, 105. Ideally, right? Ideally, we want the left digit, this uh, will be the smallest, right? And then we want the, the digit on the right to be as big as possible, right? As big as possible. This I want to as small as possible, right? As small as possible. So let's try with the biggest factor. And then let's try if, if we can put the biggest factor on the right, we just put it. Right, we put it this way, okay? So two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? This is the number we need to check. 105. Can it be divided by nine? No. No. Can it divide it by eight? No. no. Can it be divided by seven? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I divide it by seven. I plus one here. So I have a seven here. Okay? I have seven. I use a seven. Now what's the remaining? Uh, the, the remaining is 15, okay? So the remaining is 15. 7. Okay, so 15, can it be divided by 6? No. Can it be divided by 5? Yeah. Okay, so I, I have a 5 here. Can it be divided by 4? Mm -hmm. Can it divide by 3? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so now I have an answer. You know, the array, I put it in 7, 5, 3. I need to reverse it, so it'll be 3, 5, 7. Okay, so let's try another example, a thousand, okay? Let's a thousand. A thousand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? A thousand, nine. No. A thousand, A. Yes, right? So I put the answer A here. A. And the remaining is 125, right? 125. Seven, no. Six, no. Five. Yes. So I put a five here, which is remains 25. 25 divided by 5 again. Put a 5 here, which is remaining 5. Okay, then I put a, another 5. Once it becomes 1, we just stop. So the answer is 5558. Okay, make sense? I got this quicker, right? I got this quicker from right to the left because I also use the bigger digit on the right. 
Once I get this, I need to reverse it from the smallest to the biggest. Can't you just do that the other way around, but you don't have to reverse it? Good question. Yes, yes, we can do it. It's a list, right? It's a list. You can append to the front. Or we, we use the DQ, double and DQ. We append on the left hand side. That's a very good point. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to write the code, okay? So you need to tell me what's the time come next. Yeah, but, but I, I find it useful to figure out the process, the thinking, the process of thinking. Define f n. Special case is if n equals 1, or, or if n is smaller than 10, then the answer will be just this single digit, right? If it's equals to 1, or if it's smaller than 10, right? Am I right? A single digit is always the ultimate. Then we have this answer at the beginning, we use a, a list to store the factors. Then for i in range, we start with the 9 up to 1, not including 1, minus 1, right? From to from 9 down to 1, step minus 1 is step, but down to 1, down to 2 actually, not including 1. And wire n can be divisible. Divisible. Can be divisible by n, then answer dot append. Append i, right? If this answer is a DQ, you can put it in the front, right? And uh, I put it at the end, then I need to reverse it. And n divisible equal n, then we divide n by i. Okay, so th this is finding the factors. If n not equals 1, right? Or we haven't found any factor if the length of answer is is zero then we need to return minus one right so like 44 44 why is it minus one because at the end we we can only get 44 to 11 it's not one so we, we return minus one okay and otherwise we just need to reverse it right return we can use the reverse reverse this so this answer, we can, you know how to reverse, right? Compromise one, or use the two pointer, or we use the reverse iterator. Reverse this answer, we reverse it. Or we can sort it, right? We can sort it, it's basically the same thing, but sorting takes over and over time. We know it's reverse, reverse is the smallest, so we reverse it. Uh, as I said, if we use the uh, double ND key, every time we append at the, at the beginning, then it's a small list, and then we don't need to reverse it. Each element in the array is an integer type. We need to make it a string. So we use the map, str, reverse list, and then join it, right? We need to join it, then make it a string. Okay, so today we have talked about this uh, problem. Uh, we want to find out the smallest positive integer that the product of the, all the digits is equal to a given target. And Eric proposed a solution, which is to try from the smallest factors. First of all, we find all the factors, right? So we try with the smallest uh, digit. And if we can't find a solution for the two digit, we try for the three digits, four digit until we find the, find the answer or we don't. Okay? So another way would be to try the digit, single digit, single digit factor from the biggest one, which is nine up to two. Okay, and Ryan, you said the one it doesn't matter because one just makes the number bigger and it doesn't change the, and uh, it doesn't bring down the value. Okay, so we so try with the. It will be helpful if you want to find the biggest one, but then there will just be infinite ones. That's right. Yes, you, you're right. Yes, you can keep adding the ones, which makes the number bigger and bigger. Okay, then. The solution is that we try from 9, we, we try 9, 8, 7, until 2. And if it can be divisible by the number, we bring down the value and then we add it to the uh, answer array. And then we need to reverse it or sort it, right? We need to sort it or reverse this answer array. The time complexity um, is O, because this is a constant loop, right? This is a constant loop. So actually, it's just this, I would say, O log n. The space complexity is all uh, all local as well. Okay, let's see for today. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.